there'd be no place to go but when I met Jesus and I started believing I got washed with his love and cleansed by his blood I just started living Father, we want to say thank you now. Thank you, God, for this ministry opportunity. For we do realize, God, that it is that which was ordained from the very beginning of time. That we would be able to go forth sharing the gospel through song. We ask, oh God, that as we would minister in song, that you would allow your anointing to rest upon each and every song. And uh, not only do we pray for your anointing, but we pray, oh God, for your divine protection. As we travel up and down the dangerous highway, oh Lord, bless Oh, Lord, we may be able to meet our destination. And uh, when we get there, oh, God, we ask, oh, Lord, that you would prick hearts, change minds, that are uh, as the word comes forth, that our lives will be changed. Oh, we realize, oh, God, one of these old days we've got to come down to the end of our journey lord be somewhere close that we'll be able to lean our head upon that peaceful breath and breathe our lives out sweetly down it is in the mighty name of jesus we pray and ask all of these blessings count them done now in jesus name amen amen and amen Wow, have you been blessed? Don't you feel better just being around Christian folks? Well, you have been listening to the Pastor Jack Triple Hour with Pastor Jack and Linda Gale here on KOTG, KBAM, Bayou Gospel Radio, all part of the WOTG Radio and TV Network. Also, see the Vision Radio. 
Remember, we are here every Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. We invite you to share this program with others or host a watch party for your friends. If you are led to do more, please feel free to contact Pastor Jack or Linda Gale and they will tell you how you can be a part of this valid ministry. Or you can donate to this ministry electronically by going to paypal.me slash mundelljl that's M-U-N-D-E-L-L-J-L or mail your donation to Bethel Temple, K-O-T-G, Post Office Box 241, a total. Yes, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the Pastor Jack Triple Hour. Want to say good morning. Sorry about that. We had the wrong wrong deal in there, but we, amen, we're going to go on anyway, and you'll hear that at the end of the broadcast and not at the beginning of the broadcast. We had a little mix up there. And uh, but we got through it. So welcome to the Pastor Jack Triple Hour right here on KOTG Radio, KBAF Radio, and Bayou Gospel Radio, as well as WOTG TV Network, uh, <laughs> Facebook Live, and uh, uh, we will be later uploading the video to uh, YouTube. And we just want to welcome everybody this morning. Um, uh, good morning, Linda Gale. Hallelujah, Donnie Wayne Clemens. Amen. I almost ended. <laughs> it was a engineer fault. Amen. And I apologize for that, everyone. Everyone listening, wherever you're listening from, I do apologize. <laughs> I, I was. We had the uh, uh, closing of the pro, uh, broadcast there, but we've got it fixed now. And uh, Hallelujah. I, I, I'm yes. I'm just checking over something there. So I want to say good morning uh, to Linda Gale. Uh, God bless you, sweetheart. And uh, she is here in the chat room, and she will be helping us with uh, replying to the comments. And then good morning, Donnie Wayne Clements, David Bab. Good morning, good morning. And we're so glad to see each and every one of you here. And I uh, see there's uh, uh, potentially some others in here. We know. We've got listeners on the radio, and we thank God for each and every one of you. This is a great day, a beautiful day, another day that the Lord hath made. And I know we say it all the time, but it never gets old. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Thank God for life. Uh, and, and that's right. We, we, one day we may go by the way of the grave. And hopefully we're the generation that doesn't have to, but who knows? Only God knows that. And we're going to rely on him and trust him regardless of how it is. But we all know that we will be caught up to meet him. We will all be put, put on our new bodies, uh, whether we've been in, in uh, our bodies been implanted in the earth. Come on, a seed to grow. And when we rise from there, we'll be putting our new bodies on. And uh, uh, will our spirit, amen, will be joined to it. And praise God, we will forever be alive with Jesus. So that's right, believer, you're never, never going to die. Hallelujah. Because once you pass over, now you will in the natural flesh, there is a day appointed unto each one of us. But as far as it goes, you, the spirit, you, is never going to die. Your spirit, man, will live for eternity. Thank God for that. So that means we've got eternal life if we're in him. Well, let's move on with the music now. I think I've greeted oh, Heidi Herring. Good morning, Mom. Hello. And uh, uh, just got to say and uh, hello to everyone. It looks like we've covered the bases. And uh, as more come in, we'll be sure to greet them. Here now is Canton Junction with Sweeter as the Days Go By. Show 
him I couldn't stop now if I tried Oh, it is sweeter As the days go by It gets sweeter As the moments fly This love is richer Deeper Fuller Sweeter Sweeter Sweeter, sweeter as the days go by. Come on, sing it. The moment he saved me, his good grace he gave me. He placed his love down deep in my heart. A great joy in the way, the hell I was going. And never more from him to depart. Oh, it gets sweeter as the days go by. As the moments fly His love is richer Deeper Fuller Sweeter 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 as the days go by
does Kent Junction. And I'll tell you, it does get sweeter as the days. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. That sounds like another song, doesn't it? But that's not in the lineup. We want to say that we want you to enjoy, be lifted up, be encouraged, be blessed by the program today. And by what the Lord is going to bring to you through the music, through the word. Amen. And it's all the Lord. It's all about Jesus. And uh, we wouldn't be part of it. And I'll tell you what, our fearless leader, leader brother Chuck uh, Bryant, a founder and the general manager, uh, he wouldn't have part of it either because it's all about Jesus and lifting up Jesus. What a glorious, glorious thing that is. And, and he's not a thing, he's a being. And, but to just be in him and know him and know him is totally awesome. Hallelujah. See, I can argue with myself. Amen. Who glory. And God is good. And he's not just good some of the time or part-time, but he is good all of the time. Now, on our broadcast today, uh, we've got a variety of things going up. We've got uh, 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 quartets. We've got, uh, uh, oh, down yonder, maybe a, just a little bit of, uh, a, a Christmas music, not much, just kind of one of them anyway, and uh, one song, and then we've got uh, a lot of uh, different things coming up, the uh, hymns, some hymns, old hymns, and uh, just enjoy today. Let God touch you, and let God bless you, let him minister to you, amen, as we move right along. Now, here is Debbie Mills with Heaven's Sounding Sweeter. So good, I can't complain. And when I'm down, God gives me strength to rise again. And when I'm weary from the struggle of it all, I just listen. Sweet. 
It sure is sounding uh, sweeter all the time, and I want to say good morning. I see some other people have come in uh, uh, since we started. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Retna Kamari, God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Deborah Dunn, good morning. God bless you. And, uh, well, Linda Mundell, you're still there. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank God. And uh, everyone else that have come in, God bless you. And, and if I have missed anyone, uh, I just uh, want you to know I see you here. Good morning. God bless you. And thank you for joining us. Thank you all for sharing and inviting. And we just praise God for each and every one of you. Let's take a listen now to Mark Bishop with God is Powerful. <laughs> myself everything goes wrong when i place my life in the savior's hands every mountain will tremble at the sound of his command god is powerful does the impossible loves the unlovable and sets them free Yes, he is, and that was Mark Bishop, and here now are the Babs with Above All Heights.
Antonio Glove. That was the Babs. And I want to take a minute and say good morning, Tid Lakota Crow. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today. It's good to see you. And uh, Glenda Mann and Abigail. Amen. That's her boxer. Uh, we want to say good morning to both of you. You first, Glenda. But I know that if Abby's there close by, he'll hear us. So we want to be able to say good morning to him, too. And uh, we love you all as well. In fact, we love each and every one of you. That's all of our listeners. We care about you. We love you with the love of God, the agape love of God. Yes, that's right. How do you do that, Pastor Jack? It's easy. You let him love through you. That's how it's done. <laughs> Amen. Well, that's easier said than done. Not really. Not when you get caught up in him and and caught up in his word and uh, and it it becomes easier every day. Trust me, uh, I, I've been there, done that. Amen. Uh, then I want to say, let's see if I missed anyone today. Anyone in here that I might have missed? If I have missed anyone, uh, good morning. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. You're more than welcome, Brother David Babb. And it's always our pleasure uh, to be able to do that. And um, praise the Lord. Let's see, it looks like I've got everyone now, so we're going to get back to the music, and this is uh, the Kingdom Heirs with How We Gonna Live in Babylon. A stranger living in a pagan land like Daniel in the Bible days. I'm seeing things that I don't understand, and I can't help but say, How are we gonna live in Babylon in a world overrun by the wicked one? How are we gonna carry on till Jesus comes when it looks like we'll never make it through? We're gonna have More than ever we must read the Holy Word And trust in His amazing grace To give us strength until the Lord returns No matter what the church may face Or how long we say how we gonna live in We're gonna have to pray like brand new prayed And stand for the right in the evil day We won't give in, we will keep the faith And see what a mighty God can do We won't run, we won't, run, we won't, hide. We won't hide We won't sell out and be satisfied To go in the crowd and to compromise With those about against the truth comes when it looks like we'll never make it through. We're gonna have to pray like men who prayed and stand for the right in the day. We won't give in, we will keep the faith and see what a mighty God can do. We won't give in, we will keep the faith and see what a Yes, hallelujah. That was the Kingdom Heirs, and here now is Christian Crossroads with Let It Rain. Yeah. 
That was Christian Crossroads. Let's take a listen now to Gold City. I'll walk on. If these flames that I've had to go through shine up. Somebody to you, Jesus. I will go, I will go through any fire because you are my hope and it's my.
in me to carry helps me know the way you suffered for me. Jesus, press it down, down for all to see. I will stand my ground and I'll learn what it means to be trusted even when. And I want to say uh, good morning to Susan Sadler. Thank you for joining us today. It's always good to see each and every one of you here in the house with us. We appreciate that. And all those of you listening on the radio network, that's uh, KOTG Radio, KBAF Radio, and Bayou Gospel Radio. Thank you for joining us. I'm glad to have you with us today. Tell your friends. Tell them how they can get the app and they can listen to us and you would go to your play store and the new apps are coming out and after the first year at next year we'll be using the new app live 365 you can download it it doesn't cost you anything and then you search for your radio station kotg whatever radio station you're looking for that's part of uh, the wotg radio network and i'll be showing all those here in just a little while and you can download it uh, search for the station And once it comes in, it goes into your history, and it's always there. You can tune us in that way. So share that and and share that with your friends, and they can listen to us daily with you. And uh, uh, praise God, bring them in. And if you want them to hear great, comforting uh, music that ministers to the Spirit, you want them to hear the Word of God, let them know so they can get the app and join us and of course there's a lot of other programs out there as well i'm i'm just part of the wotg radio network so i talk about that because you know that's that's the ones i know so and we thank you again for joining us and being part of us all each and every one of you here now is the singing bones with i won't have to worry anymore Feel good time. Down here my burden's heavy And the road seems rough and long Sometimes my feet get weary and so slow But a brighter day Soon I'll step on heaven's shore And I won't have to worry anymore I won't have to worry When I reach the other shore All my troubles will be over And I'll rest forever Bye. 
All your cares are left behind And I won't have to worry anymore I won't have to worry When I reach the other shore All my troubles will be over And I'll rest You are listening to Pastor Jack and Linda Gale on KOTG Radio and TV, KBAF, Bayou Gospel, and See the Vision Radio. You will also find us on Facebook Live, Pinterest, and YouTube. And we thank you, Brother Ron Jarman, and that uh, just before Brother Ron was uh, the singing bones. And I'm going to stop here just for a second, and we'll get back to the music. Uh, but I want to show you, and, and I talked about it just a little bit ago, that after uh, the first of the year, next year, we will be using this uh, Live 365 will be our radio app. And, um, and then remember on this app, you can listen to any of the WOT. There's a lot of things on that app, but you can listen to any of the uh, WOTG radio network stations on that app. And uh, that's the one we'll be using after the first year. So the old apps are going to be uh, uh, disappearing and we're going to the live 365. And we're excited about that. And um, we have. Uh, several radio stations and I'm going to show it real quick so that you'll know now the reason I'm telling you about that I don't want you if you listen to the radio and say you can't get to your TV or you can't you know when you're driving hopefully you're not texting and and, and uh, you're keeping your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road uh, I pray that anyway and I know y'all are y'all are, uh, are, are, are have good sense I know that for sure and so anyway uh, you'll be able to check us out, listen to us. That in all the stations, there's music 24/7, and then whatever programs are on there during the d morning and the day. And of course, uh, I'm going to go over here to another screen uh, just to show you the W uh, O T G Radio Network. And over in the left-hand corner, starting there, we're going to go straight across, and uh, you have the W R B Radio, and that. Uh, is Roberta Blevins, and then you see the Choo Choo Train, that is Chattanooga Gospel Radio with Chuck Bryant. Then uh, next to that, you have the Polar Bear, that's Alaska, uh, sta our Alaska station, and, and, and then uh, see the vision over in the right corner. Now coming back across uh, the next row, the one that looks like a 45 there, the black, the purple, and the uh, uh, yellow or fire, fiery color, whatever it is. That is Detroit uh, uh, station. And then you have the next one to the left is CCMA radio. Uh, and that, of course, is um, another radio station. And if you'll look at, uh, well, the polar bear, then the three crosses and the three palm trees. The Palm Trees is Pacific Radio. The Crosses is Atlantic Radio. And then, of course, we told you. But those three are going to be condensed into CCMA. So with the CCMA, you will hear all of it and uh, uh, going across. Then you have the uh, red circle with the GRR, somebody growling, the GRR. That is the uh, gospel rock station. And then, of course, for any of you rockers, younger generation out there, or even uh, our generation, if you if you like a uh, little rock, that's a, a good rock station, gospel rock station, not 
not secular. And then you have WOTG, KOTG, which is a sister station of WOTG. And then next to that, you see the 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 uh, the two little uh, um, um, well, uh, that's what they are. They're hey man, they're those little guys, you know that that some pe- crowd ads and and they're, that's Bayou Gospel Radio. Then come back across, you see the WOTG TV, and then back down to the bottom left hand corner, you have Country Country Gold, and then next to it, you have WTEK Radio. Then you have uh, Branson Radio right next to that. And then you have WOTG Radio Network. So all that is our stations. You'll be able to get those on the app, uh, um, the Live 365 app. And you'll catch, I mean, you can search them, check them out, and find different ones that you like and different music you like that you care about. And uh, you can listen to music 24-7. And when we have gospel shows on, uh, anyone that's on the WOTG network, the radio network, and the WOTG TV network, uh, you'll be able to hear them as well. So I just wanted to let you know that, and I've got to real quickly do something here. Hey, man, got it done. And got her done. <laughs> Hallelujah. And that's how you take care of business like that. Anyway, so that's all that we have in the radio stations, and I know there's more coming, but some great changes coming up in uh, uh, after the first year. A lot of things in the works, a lot of things behind the scenes that's coming forward, and I'm personally glad to be part of the WOTG radio and TV network where Chuck Bryant is the general manager, and he's the founder and general manager. Jesus Christ is the owner and the CEO. And Chuck will tell you the same thing. And it's also a pleasure to work with a lot of the managers. Marty Smith on Heaven's Country. Uh, Mario, uh, Dr. Mario Ramos and Pastor Denise Ramos on K- KBAF Radio. Uh, Roberta Blevins, Alan Presley. I mean, Marty Smith, uh, um, uh, Tony Mark there with the uh, uh, Bayou Gospel, I mean, uh, Branson Gospel Radio, and The Gur, and I'll tell you, and many, many others, uh, Gary Hill, and uh, too too many for me to remember on top of my head and everyone, but we're just so thankful to be work, working with all them uh, that love God, that want to get the word out and the music out, and you are fans and you are listeners. We just thank God for each and every one of you. And you are a blessing in our lives, and I hope we're just a smidgen of blessing. The Lord in us is a smidgen of blessing in your lives, and we thank God for you. Well, by request, here now is Richard Carr with If I'm Guilty.
praise God. That was Richard Carr, and here now is Karen Peck with Hey. It's gonna be soon Hey, what you gonna do When the Lord comes back For his chosen view Hey, what's you gonna find Will your heart be waiting Or feel the gloom Are you gonna be ready Cause it's gonna be soon Can you see the clock How it ticks away In the blink of an eye It's a judgment day a great reward or it's time to pay better make up your mind he could be on his way hey what you gonna do when the lord comes back for his chosen view hey what's he gonna find will your heart be waiting or feel the gloom are you gonna be ready cause it's gonna be soon from the book of life will your name be your soul be happy or your heart feel dread there's a straight and narrow or a path of sin well your time's running out so i'll ask you again hey, hey what you gonna do when the lord comes back for his chosen few hey what's he gonna find will your heart be waiting or feel the gloom are you gonna be ready cause it's gonna be soon Praise God. That was Karen Peck. And I do want to say good morning to Phyllis Jenkins and uh, 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 Sister Phyllis. I apologize. What happens is, and, and I'm going to let everybody know this too, uh, if you're following, say you're following KOTG and then you're following KBAF Radio, if you're not following KBF, you won't get a notification. If you're following Bethel Temple, if you're following Bayou Gospel Radio, or uh, KOTG radio, KBAF radio, then you will get a notification that we're on. So depending on what notification you click on, if you want to be in the regular chat room uh, where everybody's at, and I know you do, and we want you here too, but uh, then it's uh, you take accept the uh, uh, KOTG notification and make sure you go to a KOTG and uh, page, and that's where you will... Uh, get in the chat room, accept that, uh, click on that notification for KOTG, and you will end up in on the KOTG page with the chat room. However, there uh, we are broadcasting on uh, Bethel Temple page. We're broadcasting on KBAF radio, and we're broadcasting on Bayou Gospel radio, as well as KOTG radio. So if you're lost over in one of those, just go over to KOTG page and our Facebook page and look for it there and that's and if you're following us be sure you like us and follow us on that page uh, but that's what happens we open up the pages they send the notification out notifications out and whichever one you click on come on if it's the Bayou Gospel Radio because uh, I say uh, a KOTG cross posted with this page and you click on one of them that's where you're going to end up at and sometimes I you know I went in there Yesterday, and we had people over on Bethel Temple page that uh, was in listening to the broadcast. They never showed up on on um, KOTG page. So anyway, just to help you out there, a little, little encouragement. Uh, but we see you now, and I will see your comments uh, when I look at those pages and look at the broadcast later. Uh, so thank you, uh, Sister uh, Phyllis, for joining us. 
and I'm sorry that that, that you were you were oh, you, well. You got to hear what was there, but I know you didn't get to speak anybody, and that's why people didn't see your comments unless there was somebody else on those pages, and um, they responded. So I don't know. <laughs> I just I just let you know that that's that's how it works, and and um, I know I still I still confuse myself when it comes down to it, but it's all there together, and we'll all get on the same page here at is soon amen let's take a listen now to greg french with as soon as i touch calvary friends don't worry about this heavy load i carry don't be concerned if it sends me to my knees for I know a place where all my load will lighten I'll be alright as soon as I touch Calvary if my Feeble hands of faith could only reach out through this dark and dreary storm of unbelief. If he'll slip his nail scarred hand into my hand, I'll be all. As soon as I touch Calvary Very soon now I'll reach that hill Golgotha I'll touch that cross that was fashioned from a tree And if just one precious drop Of his blood touches me I'll be alright As soon as I touch Calvary If my feeble hand a faith through this dark and dreary storm of unbelief if he'll slip his nail scarred hand into my hand I'll be alright as soon as I touch Calvary I'll be all right because now I touch Calvary. Well, praise God. That was Greg French with As Soon As I Touch Calvary. Here now is Debbie Bennett with How Sweet, How Great Thou Art. My God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars. And I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe. 
displayed Then sings my soul My Savior God to Thee How great Thou art How great Thou art Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul. Thou art Then sings my soul My Savior God To Thee How great Thou art How great Thou Yes, praise God, hallelujah. That was Debbie Bennett, and uh, I want to say hello to Lori Ann Warner. I know she can't, uh, she said she's not here and getting sound right now, uh, but I see those, there's a couple people trying to help her. Lois, thank you uh, for doing that. Prince Jay, hello, good afternoon, God bless you. And let's take a listen now to Steve Ladd with We Shall See the King. There's a time that's coming, coming very soon Maybe evening, morning, or at noon The union of the bride, united with the groom We shall see the king when he comes We shall see the king we shall see the king. We shall see the king when he comes. When he comes. He's coming in power. We'll have the blessed hour. We shall see the king.
Well, praise God. That was Steve Ladd. And now, by request, here are the Deddy Sisters with Waymaker.
Well, glory, that was the Diddy Sisters, and you know the song, Waymaker. Well, in case I have missed saying hello to anyone, uh, I thought I had uh, some, and but I want to be sure. Uh, good morning, everyone. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for joining us, and we pray God's uh, blessing and prosperity, favor, and mercy with you throughout your day and eternity oh hallelujah and i know if you belong to him you got it there's no there's no hiding it there's no getting around about it there's no doing away with it <coughs> excuse me and uh i will uh get that i'm i'm trying to remember who it was now that asked me to do that uh but if you'll just send it again or tell linda what it is uh, i'll be sure to send you the uh instructions on how to to download the uh live 365 app uh so that you can get it on your phone and you can show others as well uh if now that you listen and your friends want to listen on facebook uh they just go to uh to the kotg radio page on facebook and uh then uh uh, or search for it if they don't have it search for it if they're not following it or a member of it just search for kot uh, g radio uh, they're on facebook and when it comes up they just go in there and like it and follow it it's uh that's pretty uh, pretty easy to do so uh i won't say simple because you know how facebook is sometimes when you expect it to be simple it's very wants to be very difficult but eh, we're having a good day today so far and we're going to believe and trust for that victory report throughout the rest of the day now i've readjusted my mic uh so i'm hoping and praying and believing that you can hear me hear me okay and we're going to take just a few minutes and uh bring forth some word now i'm not saying preaching it but i want to share it with you okay and, and and we all know, and I'm sure most of us do, that's here in the room, the Facebook chat room, are aware. Many of you on the radio are aware, but maybe there's some out there that isn't sure uh, and know. Maybe you haven't accepted Christ yet, and so you're not aware of this. So we want to just kind of bring forth, I'm not going to take a long time, but I do want to just bring this out to encourage, to uplift, to edify. And if you already know, come on, just just listen to it again, receive it, have it freshened up in your mind and your heart, and then do a study on it. Look at it, and uh, uh, because I'm only going to use two scriptures this morning, and that's going to be in Linda Gale. If you're listening, please put them up there in the board for me. It's 2 Corinthians 5. 17 and 18 again the first one's going to be second corinthians 5 17 and 18 and then the next one will be first john 5 1 through 4 first john 5 1 through 4 or 1 and 4 but we'll do it all the way through 4 and that will get 1 2 3 and 4 and uh, those are the scriptures we're going to be f coming from today. And we're talking today about we are a new creation in Christ Jesus. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. We are now no longer who we were. And yet we're not who we're going to become. Every day as we have our relationship with the Lord, we draw nearer to what and who we're going to be. We begin to take on his nature. Now, we all know that we're called to be in the body of believers. We're his body on this earth. We are, he is, and we are the light to the world. So we've got to remember now, if we're a new creature and a new creation, the old man is dead. So we just got to quit carrying him around, and he died Come on in baptism, and you became alive in Christ when you were raised. And if you haven't been uh, water baptized, uh, you know, I just, you know, 
uh, recommend that you do. Hey, Amen. It's it it's an important part, and so be obedient to God's word. See, we a lot of folks think they just read God's word and look at it and say, "Well, I can continue to live because of grace. I can continue to live the old way I used to live, and I can do all these things." Wrong. Boom. Put a bad buzzer on there. That we can't. We have to turn around and live according to God's purpose and his will. Jesus gave us a new commandment, and he still has commands. He, the New Testament are full of commands that, that we need to adhere to and be obedient to. Okay? But he said in the main one was love one another as I have loved you. As I have loved you, love one another. Well, what about in the other scripture, Jack, where it says, uh, love, love one another as you love yourself? Well, Jesus knows that a lot of us, we had problems in that area. So he just took us out of it. That's what he did. It's no more what we do. It's what he has done for us. He said, love one another as I have loved you. And said, well, that's hard. That He loved with an agape love. He overlooked sin. He overlooked failures. He overlooked faults. Come on. But he did not condone them. He did not say they were okay. What did he tell them? In some cases, to go forth and sin no more. In other words, quit doing it. Just make a turnaround. Repent. That means turn around, go the opposite way. Hallelujah. So we don't live today uh, by what we do, not by performance. It's not our performance. And, it, and it's got nothing to do with us. He's taken us out of the equation. Another scripture said, if we are not faithful, he remains faithful. In other words, he's made an oath. He's made a promise. He made a blood covenant. Come on. He sent his son. His son shed blood. Come on. That's a blood covenant with you and I today that it's no longer but by what we do, but by what his son did at the cross. The work is finished. The old covenant is fulfilled. Come on. That doesn't do away with it. That doesn't dis, uh, disallow it anymore. We can learn a lot from looking to it, just as Dr. Mario uh, uh, teaches on the Proverbs and, and on his program, Living in a World of Wisdom and, and uh, following the principles and working and walking out. So if you know that hanging around with certain folks is going to cause bad manners, then you ain't going to hang around with that kind of folk. You're going to make your circle of friends, your circle of, of, of believers, uh, in a different realm. So if they're still sinning and, and doing the things that are evil and against God, you're not going to hang around with them. One bad apple in the bunch will ruin the whole bunch. Come on. So you're going to recircle yourself with people that are equally yoked with the same, same beliefs, same ideas, same visions. Come on. And, and of like minds. Come on and looking for the word that believe they are now under the new covenant. And again, I say the new covenant is not a license to sin, to do whatever we want to do, but it is the realization that now if we receive him, walk in him, that we are under the new covenant, we're a new creation, we're a new creature, the old man is dead, that he lives in us and as lives in us and as we grow that relationship with him be in relationship with him hear the word come on our faith builds and not only just hear it and have knowledge of it come on but we begin to live it out we begin to walk it out we begin to apply it we don't say well i don't like that one so i'm gonna set that one aside no, no I, lord i believe you got that wrong i'm gonna do do it my way the way i've been doing it Come on, we can't do that. We have to, and his yoke is easy and his burden is light. And we find that in, in the word when you read through the new covenant, and I'm not saying the old, is, it has not been done away with. It's a, uh, 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 <coughs> it's a road map. It's there for us to see uh, the past failures and the past things. But Jesus knew that the old covenant, all it was given for, the law, 
was to let men know they needed a savior. And then man got, when it was coming, they got uh, haughty and proud, so we'll give it to us, we can live it. And not one time was anybody ever able to live the law. But you can live with Jesus. You can live a life in Christ. You can be committed to Christ. And, and, and all you've got to do is just willingly accept him and allow your mind to be renewed through the word of God. So in other words, you take on a whole new nature and we grow. It's a process. We grow in this thing. So if we're tri still trying to walk by performance and performance under the old was you do this for me, I'll do that for you. You do this for me, I'll do that for you. Then we're walking back under the law. We become lukewarm. Come on, hallelujah, because you can't live both. You walk away from the grace that he's applied with, by the giving of his son and his son giving himself for you and I. And, and so what happens is that, that if you're trying to live by your performance, then you feel like a failure if you do something wrong. You get condemnation comes up. You're condemned because you can't. And a lot of people, they just figure, hey, I can't do this. So they give out and they quit. And we don't want to walk away from grace. We look to the old covenant and we get a lot of history. We get a lot of knowledge. We get a lot of learning out of that. Come on. And, and, and things still apply, but they'll be in line with the new covenant now that Christ gave us. So when I say we're not yet who we're going to be, it's a process. We grow in this thing, and we become more like him every day. Okay, so in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, we're going to go to verse 1. He said, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle, somebody say, you, you, I am a tabernacle, come on, we're dissolved, we have a building of God and a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. So that's right, we are, some people say he's dotting the sky, he's got a built master builder up there, building castles, and no, we are the buildings, we are the tabernacle, we're the mansions, that he's building, and so he can dwell in us. He no longer dwells in, in homes or houses built by man, but now he de de lives and dwells in man, in our spirit, in our heart. Come on, amen. So he lives in our spirit, the old spirit that we had. It's now dead. We've been raised with Christ, hallelujah, and now he dwells in our tabernacle, and our tabernacle is part of the large tabernacle amen hallelujah that he is building and putting together and fashioning for himself we have become the kingdom of god is here it's in us we are the kingdom heirs we're ambassadors of the kingdom of god and he dwells richly in us for in this we groan earnestly desiring to be clothed upon uh, with our house which is from heaven. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being part, uh, burdened not for what we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up in life. So now we are new creation in Christ Jesus. The old creation is gone. It's passed away. We're new in him. And I better oh, read uh, uh, Second Corinthians. I better read. That was starting at 5, and that sounded good. I could have stayed right there. Amen. But it brings you into the place that we are now a new tabernacle. We, we're, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heaven. And then verse 17 and 18 says, therefore, therefore, and anytime you see a therefore, you want to go back and see what it's there for. So beginning at the first part of the chapter, and that was kind of what I was bringing us into there. And you find a couple of therefores and wherefores, and, and you look back and look through it. And verse 17, therefore, if any man be in Christ, 
if any man, that mankind, man is mankind, male, female, <laughs> be in Christ. Come on. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you say, I want that to sink in a minute. All things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ come, redeemed us, reconciled us, and restored us to the kingdom of God. We are now grafted in to the family of God. And hath given to us, and what he did when he did all that, given to us, the ministry of reconciliation. So every born-again believer's responsibility, amen, because now knowing who we are and how we are is to go forth and share the good news of the gospel, the gospel of peace. And what is the good news? That Jesus came, gave his life for us. He died upon the cross, took all of our sins upon his shoulders, took all of our punishment upon his shoulders, and now you don't have to do for me, and I'll do for you. I've done for you. Receive it by faith. Come on, and you will whoo, walk in a newness with me. He's given us life, and that more abundantly. Can you praise him today? It's wonderful. And for those of you out there, you, maybe you have not accepted Christ and you're listening now, don't put it off. Today's the day of salvation. But I'm not going to tell you things like that, that, you know, fear tactics and things are going to turn upside down and all this kind of stuff if you don't serve him now. All I'm saying is today is the day of salvation. You put it off long enough. And uh, but if if the spirit's not drawing you, I could talk all day and you're not going to receive God it's because man cometh because the spirit draws him. No man comes to the father unless the spirit is drawing him. Amen. And then the only way to the father is through Jesus Christ. I got excited this morning. Linda Gale and I were doing our normal reading today and was reading a passage. And and, and how about that now that that Jesus is life? Come on, that salvation and accepting Christ as Savior, that is life. And that by choosing sin, that is death. And if you choose life, you're never going to die. You're going to live forever. Oh, yeah, this body would be planted, but it's going to rise again, just like he did from the grave. And you have to believe that by faith, too, that it's going to happen. His word is truth. He does not lie. It's yea and amen. If he said it, it will be. And it reminded me, and I got to thinking about something, that back in the garden, when man was put in the garden, the Lord told him, said, you can eat the fruit of any tree in here freely except for one. Come on. Except for one. So there were all kinds of trees in there. There was all kinds of manner of fruit in there. And there was a tree of good and evil. Then there was a tree of life. Mm. Just think, if, if Eve had a, not listened to the enemy and had ate the fruit of the tree of life, we'd all be there right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said we'd all be there right now. But she was deceived, and she ate the tree of death, the fruit of death, the one that she was told not to eat. She didn't know it. Adam evidently didn't tell her because she would have told the enemy that when she was talking to him. Come on. However, so she chose to eat that. And I got excited. And I said, Linda, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The garden, the tree of death. Come on, because it says as soon as you eat this tree, you'll, you'll die. And they died spiritually. Come on. They were out of the presence of God. And if we live in sin, we're going to be out of the presence of God. So sin was the tree of death was representing, come on, sin and corruption and evil. 
Come on. And then the tree of life represents Jesus Christ because now if we partake of him, we partake of him. He is the life. He is the way. He is the truth. We partake of him, decide to follow him and be obedient to him, learn of him, have a relationship with him. We are going to live eternally and that's why Adam and Eve was kicked out of the garden because then if they went and ate of the tree of life they would have would be in sin for the rest there would be no hope come on they would have been in sin the rest of their life but gee, whoo, hallelujah so Jesus is a tree of life today and I'm saying if you haven't accepted him and you Come on. He said, well, I'll be glad to get out of this life when it's over because there's too much misery. I've had too much pain. I've had too much hurt. We all do. Amen. But Jesus is the life source. And when we live forever, when we shed this fleshly temple and, 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 and get caught up with him, put our new body on and live eternity, there will be no more war. There will be no more heartache. There will be no more sicknesses and disease no more pandemics come on no more war hallelujah no more fighting amongst amongst one another we'll be in peace hallelujah and have life eternal so life eternal then your your clothes won't wear out i don't know what kind of clothes we'll have to wear in the end but your clothes won't wear out maybe we'll be clothed with the same clothes that adam and eve was because they were created perfect they had a body around about them that that was the light and radiance of God. Come on, they didn't even know they were naked. They couldn't see it. And that might be the kind of clothes that we wear in that day. I'm not going to tell you I know all those. I don't know all those facts. But I do know that I do know that he's coming again, that he wants us to live eternal with him. He created us, made when he wanted man, he spoke to himself and said, let us make this one. And so they formed, took the dust of the earth, formed it and breathed the breath of life into it. We're made in his likeness, we're made in his image. And I want to, and I hope you do live in eternity of peace and happiness because of his death there's a lot more to death come on than just being buried in the ground search the scriptures what God said is true but I'm here to tell you today he loves you he cares for you he's waiting on you and if he's calling you today it's time to reach out to him and let him come alive in you now, 1 John 5 and 1, we're going to read down through 4. It says this, Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone that loveth him that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him. So we've got a lot of brothers and sisters been begotten of Christ hallelujah and, and, and so we love them that's why he said love one another as i have loved you and verse 2 says by this we know that we love the children of god when we love god and keep his commandments that's not the big 10 folks that's the ones that we see here in the new covenant come on pleasing god being obedient to god ceasing and stopping sexual immorality ceasing and stopping murdering of children, ceasing and stopping uh, envy, strife, uh, uh, condemnation, criticizing, dissension. Come on, get those things out of the way. And the only way we could do is get our mind renewed by his word. The word, see, a lot of times people have that gift of suspicion, you know. Well, there's just something about that person. I don't know what it is. Well, I bet they're this, and I bet they're that. And, wow, they can't be anointed to God. Did you hear them just cough and get tongue-tied? That can't be God's anointing. They're in themselves. Hogwash. When you got the anointed one living in you and you're speaking his word, whether you get hogtied, choked, or anything, you are speaking God's word under the anointing of God hallelujah who is glorious my friend I said is glorious and, and and so we get away from those things we quit doing those things we shed those things off and get totally caught up we have to have a relationship 
We have to constantly be in the word and apply the word to our life. Hallelujah. And so we know that we love and the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. He said, what did he do? His commandment was love one another as I have loved you. And, and that fulfills all of the, all of them. Come on. It's not because of what we do, but we do what he says. He says, love one another as I've loved you. And we do that. Come on. We're automatically then, oh, <laughs> hallelujah, amen. We're keeping what he said to do. If he said don't steal, we don't steal. Come on, we quit. Why? Because we love Jesus, not because, well, I want to get this. I want to do this right. So, see, then, then what's going to happen is you're probably going to do it again. Hallelujah. Now, there, I'm not saying that we're not going to be tempted. We're not going to be tested. We're not going to be tried. That we're not going to face any kind of temptation. And if we err, that means yield to it. All we've got to do is call on God. Repent and turn the other way. We confess, not to man. But we confess to the Father and say, hey, D Daddy God, I blew it. You, you seen it. You know it. I'm admitting I did it. I failed in this area. Now help me. I need your help. But we don't just do this. If we're putting things away and putting things aside because we want God to do for us, we'll never, it'll never happen. It'll never work. When I quit trying, and I'm only using this for example, to quit smoking on my own when I turned it over to God in fact I'm gonna tell you how foolish I was some of you may say well you that was wrong you can't you can't tell me that because God did what he did but when I was having that problem and I'm not saying you're gonna go to hell for smoking and don't listen to people that tell you that we might smell like we've been there we might smell come on but 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 God ain't sinning yes I said that religious folks Take your religion and, and, and move on out the way because we're not putting up with no religiosity in this house. What we're saying is God loves us. Amen. But I had a habit, come on, that keeps me back, kept me bound. And that was back at the very uh, 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 beginning of the ministry. And uh, I had been delivered twice. I picked it back up. And God still used me because I was smoking while I was preaching. People were healed. People were saved. People were delivered. Come on. And, and, and people were made, made whole. <coughs> Not because of what I was doing. But anyway, I, I prayed and I kept asking God. I said, God, I know how folks are. I know how people are. They're going to, if, if somebody finds out where I'm going and revival finds out I'm smoking, they're going to shut the door. Because I remember old Pentecostal, how, how I mean, <laughs> come on, we're not going to go there today. But I cried to the Lord, and I said, Lord, you know, help me, help me. And I'd be sitting there, and I'd go out, man, and I'd just get that urge, and I'd puff it up, and I'd take a big puff, and i said, say, God, I'm struggling, Lord. I need your help. Oh, God, help me. Somebody said, well, he should have stopped you right then. No, but he did, and it took a little lady preacher in a little town that I was in preaching the gospel had a two-week revival God moved tremendously I mean tremendously an outpouring of the spirit like you wouldn't believe come on and then she come to me up after the final night of the revival when we was headed home and saying our goodbyes and she said brother Jack I want you to know I'll be I'll be praying for you that you'll quit be able to quit smoking cigarettes and I said oh thank you thank you sister thank you amen she didn't condemn me she didn't criticize me she didn't put a finger and then I said Lord I've seen the grace of God through somebody that called themselves a Christian now Lord that's why I rebelled that's why I ran because I knew that I'd be condemned I knew that I'd be put down come on I ran on and I said and you know I failed so many times I said God I'm gonna continue to do this and when that lady showed me the love of God when she showed me the love of God it showed me the power of God and I said Lord here I am 
I know I've prayed and I've asked. I've tried to do it because every time I prayed and asked, I'd crumble them up, throw them away. Was it 30 minutes later I was digging them out, putting Band-Aids on them and doing it again. And I said, Lord, help me. I can't do it on my own. I can't do it by my performance. My performance has always failed you. Lord, I'm relying on you. And it wasn't but about a week later, all of a sudden I realized I didn't need them no more. I didn't wake up desiring them anymore. It was gone. And I tell you, that's been, that's been about 40 years ago, 35 to 40 years ago, and I have not desired one since. I didn't deliver me. I didn't do it because somebody told me. I did it because God helped me and brought me the deliverance, not my performance. Hallelujah. And I thank God today I'm still free. And God's no respecter of persons. What he did for one, he'll do for another. So if you need Jesus today in your life, you've never known him, experienced him, accepted him, just call out to him today. And he says, uh, verse 3, I'm getting ready to close. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Verse 4, for what? So ever is born of God overcometh the world. We're not of this world system anymore. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So you have to be in his word. You have to be applying it. You have to be walking it. You have to be doing it. And verse 5 is, who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? Amen. I said he's real. He's true. He will do what he said he will do. And I've got to do something real quick because I've said I'll do it. I've got to get off of KBAF radio. Uh, remember KBAF radio? Uh, Jesse Duplantis will be coming on at noon. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. God bless you richly. The Lord love you. We love you. He loves you even more. Praise the Lord. Okay, everybody else, we're still here. We're going to continue on with the program today. And again, just remember that word. Study that word. Look into the Oh, man, a whole book of Corinthians and John and 1 John and all that. God's got a deep message. It's not by our performance. It's by what he has done for you and I. Oh, can you give him some glory? Can you say amen? Can you praise him a little bit in the house as we go now and listen to Steve Bruno Samuels with sheep in wolf's clothing? Listen to the words. A sheep, sheep in wool clothing. He's a sheep, sheep in wool clothing. He looks like the devil, but that is his disguise. You can see the love of Jesus when you look into his eyes. He's a sheep, sheep in wool clothing. He bows down by his bed as he began to pray. He said, Lord, put someone in my prayer that no one else could reach. Every time I open my mouth, it's your words that I speak. He's a sheep, sheep, it was growing. He's a sheep, sheep, it was growing. He like the devil Well that is his disguise You can see the love of Jesus When you look into his eyes He's a sheep, sheep In wolf's clothing When he walks down the street No people stop and stare Modern John the Baptist By the clothes that he wears He's a walking contradiction Scare some folks half to death He says, when will you wake up? When you take your
your last breath Be the sheets in wolf's clothing See the sheets in wolf's clothing He loves him like the devil But that is his disguise You can see the love of Jesus When you look into his eyes He's a sheep in wolf's clothing That was Steve, Bruno, Samuels, and I want to say hello, Sandra Peretti, uh, Daryl Warren, good morning, God bless you, Christina Oster, good, well, it's afternoon now, and uh, probably evening, though, in, in some places, and uh, thank you for joining us, Brenda, Brenda Feibig, praise God, it's good to see you, hallelujah, and uh, I want to make sure I get everybody here real quick on this second time around of introductions. And if somehow I've missed you and haven't said hello and good morning, I'm saying it right now. We love you. God bless you. Good morning. Hello. Jesus loves you. And I know you love him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who glory. Don't live under condemnation. Live under freedom and liberty that Jesus gave you. Not liberty to continue in sin. Come on, but turn around. Get in his word. Get a relationship going with him. And let him do his work in you. And I'll guarantee you, if you stay if you stay in that word and you stay in that re relationship, prayer, and, and talking to God and studying and applying it, beginning to walk it out, put it to work. Try it out. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not be failed. He will not let you down. And somebody said, well, Pastor Jack, uh, why why didn't you say a prayer? Have people repeat a prayer after you? Because that wouldn't be their prayer coming from their heart. When we go to Jesus, we have to call on him, believe that he's real. Come on. And, and I'll tell you that, you know, I'll, I'll say, Lord, all the ones today that don't know you, that you're calling to you, let them receive you now. Let them call and confess your name that you are Lord. And, and I praise you for doing it. And I know it's being done. And how do you say, how do you know? Uh, you say, how do you know it's done? Because his word says that his word would not return to him void, emptiness, meaningless, without something, but that it would accomplish and prosper whatever it was sent out to do. His word today was sent out to save. His word today was sent out to encourage. His word was sent out today to lift people up. His word was sent out to put a new fire under him, to, to stoke those fires, amen, so, and just to be able to live a life of joy and peace. And, oh, there's going to be rough times. There are going to be uh, times of, 
uh, uh, of tests and trials, but guess what? He's right there with you. Now you got him with you. Now you can call on him, and his word says that he'll be there with you. Psalm 91, come on, uh, 23rd Psalms, all throughout the New Covenant, the New Testament, come on, he'll sh he'll share, he'll take care of you, he'll keep his hand upon you, he'll guard you, he'll lead you, and he will get you to the other side without fail. And that other side to me is eternal life through the problem, through the trial, and eternal life where we'll be able to live abundantly with him here and the rest of eternity. Oh, hallelujah. I get excited about it when I think about it. I just want to get up and shout and holler and praise the Lord. Why holler, man? Well, I go to a football game. I see my son hit a home run. You don't think I'm not going to shout and holler? Y'all do, too. You know you do. Hey, man, give Jesus a great big hand clap because he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Praise God. Here now is Laura Story with Indescribable. of heights to the depths of the sea creations revealing your majesty from the colors of fall to the fragrance of spring every creature is unique
Yes, praise God. That was uh, Laura's story, and here now is Adam Crabb with There Is a Healer. From the hard times in my life Gonna put them out there Let you know I survived Cause I believe that every scar can testify That was Adam Crabb, and there is a healer, amen, and there is a Savior. We are saved by the blood of the Lamb, and that Lamb was Jesus Christ. We're healed by his stripes, amen. His flesh that was beaten ripped off of his rib cage and back, and oh, <laughs> I'll go on there. Well, let's enter. I'm introducing this next song. This is Lisa Thompson. Listen to the words. It's called This Blood. Oh, come on. Just get in frame of mind. Just 
Forget everything else now. Begin to praise God. Begin to worship Him. He wants to talk to you. He wants to move for you right now. Somebody is going to receive is the what they've been asking for. That cost a life. That paid my way. Death its price. When it flowed down from my sins were gone my sins forgot oh there is a grave i tried to hide this precious blood that gave me life oh but in three In my defense, so I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he tries every tear that falls. So I come to tell you that he saves, to shout and to proclaim that he's coming back.
Yes, praise God. That was Lisa Thompson with this blood. And I'll tell you, there was a powerful, powerful message. I felt the Spirit of God working. If you were praising Him and reach, reached out and accepted what you had need of, you got it today. If you don't see the manifestation, keep watching. It's coming. It's on your way. He is the healer. He is the de deliverer. He is the redeemer. And I felt salvation going out. I felt healing going out. I felt encouragement going out. I felt tiredness leaving and a spirit of strength and calm and peace coming over God's people through that message right there. Let's take a listen now to the Burris family with J-E-S-U-S. -S. You say that you don't understand simply how that I can not be who I used to be. Your walk has changed, your talk has changed You don't even act the same as you did when you hang with me Now tell me something, man, help me understand You're like an alien to me Man, what happened to you? Well, let me tell you J-E-S-U-S Is the way to explain the past C-H-R-I-S-T Is what got a hold of me He changed my heart when he saved my soul Even though I was a mess And now I sing praises ring I owe every single thing to J-S-U-S Say you can't believe your eyes Total shock from the surprise When you think how I was before Mean and nasty, cruel and loud The craziest one in the crowd Rotten down to the core Now you're standing here Acting weird Telling me that you've been set free Come on, man. What is the real reason? Well, I'm going to tell you again. J E S U S is the way to explain your past. C H R I S T is what got a hold of me. He changed my heart when he saved my soul, even though I was a mess. And now I sing praises ring. I owe every single thing to J E S U S. C-H-R-I-S-T Is what got a hold of me He changed my heart When he saved my soul Even though I was a mess And now I sing praises ring I owe every single thing to J-S-U-S Oh, yeah Well, glory, that was the Burris family. I want to welcome everybody back. Jerry Park, it's good to see you. And Jama, hello. And uh, whoever else has come in, if I've missed you, hello, God bless you. Thank you for finding your way back if you're coming back in. And I know we got interrupted there, but that's okay. Remember, on YouTube uh, later this afternoon, this whole sh program will be uh, able to be viewed in its entirety without any interruptions and how do you do that you go to youtube and search for uh, the pastor jack triple hour or kotg radio to bring up a list of the videos subscribe click on it watch it and share it please hey man let's take take a listen now to the parnells with 
magnify. Jackie Man, hello, 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 hello. God bless you. And uh, I believe that you've probably seen my comment already that, yes, uh, this part two is live right here on Facebook. And it's also live on WOTGTV.com on the West feed. Uh, and a little bit later this evening, it will be the whole thing in its entirety on YouTube. But I have to upload it. And while uh, even though we got disconnected on Facebook, uh, we're recording here and this whole video complete will be on YouTube. And the, re the way you get that, you go to YouTube and uh, uh, search for uh, the Pastor Jack Triple Hour or KOTG Radio, a list of the videos that will be dated with today's date. You click on it, bring it up, uh, then like it, share it, and whatever you want to do there. And if you like it, uh, please do subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, but you're able to watch the videos. If you couldn't, can't watch them or you got to leave, you can always go back and watch them on YouTube later. And if we get disconnected, interrupted during uh, the Facebook uh, part of it, uh, you'll still get the whole video complete in its entirety there on YouTube. And uh, we just appreciate you all following us and wanting to follow and wanting to see the broadcast. We're here to lift up Jesus, and that's all that's all we're about, amen, nothing else but bringing the good news, the gospel of peace to people 
across the world. Can you give God some praise up in here today? Here now is Mark Tremel Trio with Called In, Called Up, and Called Out. says there's a place by me and Moses climbed up high to see for he was called into the cleft of the rock Elijah went into a cave for God had something there to say call in what an awesome thing call into the presence of God Abraham was called up high but all survive but a ram was there waiting in the brush for him and david called upon a throne a shepherd boy from his childhood home called out out of god's great love to fill his purpose for them Today to the wondering soul, oh come, dear one, and heed my pleading today. Oh, what a great redemption plan made possible by the bleeding lamp, and all oh, standing neath that bow one day will be called. And he calls us see just a move a little closer from the place we've been. Now we'll keep talking all Praise God, that was the Mark Tremel Trio, and here now is Jama Park with Some People Say, I'm Just Saying. Some people say, why do you talk that way? Some why do you walk that way? Some people say, Why do you live that way? Some people say, Some people say, I say I'm living for Jesus. I'm not afraid to say, He says He's coming back, and I'm not ashamed to say, He's our Father. And We'll be going home with him That's what I say That's what I say Some people say Why do you talk that way? Some people say Why do you walk that way? Some people say Why do you live that way? Some people say Some people say This old world is not our home. There are struggles every day. I'm gonna live for Jesus, and that is what I say. Some people say, Why do you talk that way? Some people say, Why do you walk that way? Some people say, Why do you live that way? 
earthquake some people say some people say some people say why do you talk that way some people say why do you walk that way some people say why do you live that way some people say some people say That's what I say. What a blessing. You are listening to Pastor Jack and Linda Gale on KOTG Radio and TV, KBAF, Bayou Gospel, and See the Vision Radio. You will also find us on Facebook Live, Pinterest, and YouTube. Yes, thank you, Brother Ron Jarman. And we got another artist coming up, and this is... Jama Park's mother, Doris Brock, and she wrote this song, arranged it, sang it, and Brother Jerry Park uh, 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 put it together, mixed it, and recorded it, sent me the MP3, amen, so that I could play it on the radio, and if any of you artists out there are needing any mixing or anything done, contact him, talk to him about it, and he'll be able to work things out with you. He did such a good job. Now, Listen to the mixing on this. Here is Dora Brock, Doris Brock, <laughs> with Run to the Altar. Satan will try to tempt you on the narrow pathway. Keep your eyes on the cross where they belong. Shine on your path so you won't fall. 
Well, glory, that was Doris Brock. And remember, his light will help you so you won't fall down. Jesus is the light. His word is him. So, amen, you stay in the word. You won't fall down. Here is Bill Baker, old preacher. With old preacher. Whoops, sorry. This is Little White Church by Doug Anderson. A worn out hymn in the back of an old pine pew. I learned to sing in a choir of just a few. We all prayed around the sacred altar. Conviction fell on sinners and the Holy Spirit moved. Whosoever be made clean Oh, the little white church house Here now is New Life Singers with Three Story House. Written by Don Style.
story out on a hill. Yes, praise God. That was Sherry Allen of New Life Singers. And here now is a little Christmas ditty. And it's getting close to that time. So we've got one in the program today. Here is Scott Castleberry, a country boy from right here in our area in southeastern Oklahoma. Scott Castleberry with Labor of Pain. It was not a silent night There was blood on the ground You could hear a woman cry In the alleyway that night On the streets of David's town And the stable was not clean And the cobblestones were cold Little Mary full of grace With the tears upon her face Had no mother's hand to hold Was a labor a cold sky above for the girl on the ground in the dark with every beat of her beautiful heart it was a labor of love noble joseph by her side gallus hands and weary eyes There were no midwives to be found On the streets of David's town In the middle of the night So he held her and he prayed Shafts of moonlight on his face But the baby in her womb was the maker of the moon he was the author of the faith that could make the mountain Scott Castlebury and coming up now is evangelist Roger Allen with the New Life Singers and a song is called God is Good. God is good, he's good all the time. 
time Talking about the one who cleansed my soul The one touch of his hand he made me whole I noticed every time I call his name I found him to always be the same God is good He's good all the time Let him turn it around He's the Lord of Lords And the King of Kings He's every reason my heart sings God is good He's good all the time blessed. Don't you feel better just being around Christian folks? Well, you have been listening to the Pastor Jack Triple Hour with Pastor Jack and Linda Gale here on KOTG, KBAF, Bayou Gospel Radio, all part of the WOTG Radio and TV Network. Also, see the Vision Radio. Remember, we are here every Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. We invite you to share this program with others or host a watch party for your friends. If you are led to do more, please feel free to contact Pastor Jack or Linda Gale and they will tell you how you can be a part of this valid ministry. Or you can donate to this ministry electronically by going to paypal.me slash mundelljl. That's M-U-N-D-E-L-L-J-L. Or mail your donation to Bethel Temple, KOTG, Post Office Box 241, Atoka, Oklahoma, 74525. Remember, let Christ be seen in you. There is no better testimony than standing strong, even in the midst of the storm. Every morning. Thank you for joining us. Have a blessed afternoon and evening. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. God bless.